and we back another 2k release means another opportunity for us to do a legends only fantasy draft rebuilding challenge now i say legends only but realistically speaking some of the current players that are kind of decent might end up in the video like robert covington at 76 overall 78 overall might get drafted today but the focus is the legends who we haven't seen play basketball in 20 years we might be able to pair kareem abdul jabbar with michael jordan they never got to play together in real life but in today's video that is a possibility now this is just step one and I i'm really trying to test the waters for y'all let me know in the comment section or by leaving a like if i should do a video similar to this but instead of just simulating and trying to win a championship i do like a full career sim of all of the greatest players in the league in the league at the exact same time let me know in the comment section leave a like but let's get into this one now this is going to be a little bit different because usually when i do a fantasy draft i let my assistant gm take over the drafting process now in today's video i am the real general manager and we're rocking with <laughs> the Jokic list um, Denver Nuggets, and the reason Jokic is not on the team is something you'll understand once we get into it, but we are rocking with the Denver Nuggets. Let's see what number pick we get with Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, and some of the... I did not load in the... I didn't load in the rosters. Um, uh, oh, I didn't put Fantasy Draft, actually. It was also my first time loading in NBA 2K22 on the PlayStation, so they're going to teach me how to do a rebuild, which I might need a little bit help in, but not all of the pointers. Um, so I did load in the right <laughs> roster. I just forgot to put fantasy draft, but you know what? <laughs> Welcome to the team. No, let me get out of here. I think I'm going to random select our team again. Um, because I don't want y'all to think no shenanigans. Like if hypothetically, if we did the, the Denver Nuggets again, and they ended up with the first pick, think what people say it's rigged. So we're now working with the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, now if the Memphis Grizzlies get the first overall pick, we're on top of that gang. You feel me? Um, Grizzlies, Grizz. Okay. So we ended up with a top 10 pick. The Denver Nuggets, hey, we just got blessed up because the Denver Nuggets, oh, we got blessed up, ladies and gentlemen. The Denver Nuggets were almost the last team. So let's see. First of all, who already got drafted? I shouldn't have sent past that. Kareem, Big O, MJ, Braun, Wilt, uh, Tim Duncan, Shaq, Magic, and then us. So the good thing about this roster is everybody is in their prime because sometimes we do these videos and then like, Bill Russell is already 37 years old. And you're like, bro, okay, Bill Russell's going to retire soon. But he's actually 30, which is still prime Bill Russell in the case. So who do we select? Now, I will gonna, I'm going to say this because every year where I do this video, I see tons of comments talking about Kenny. Kenny, you should have taken this guy. You should have taken that guy. I'm I'm drafting a team based on my own personal preference. And at the end of the day, I'm going to make trades anyway, bro. So it, it's okay. We also turned off... um. Um, salary cap because you can see everybody wants max money because they are the best players in the entire world or in the entire history of the world and this is cool because nba 75 it's like happening so i'm taking i, I gotta take kobe i saw i didn't even look to see who else was there i saw kobe and in my mind it was set we have to say kobe get kobe another championship we have Kawhi Leonard, Joel Embiid. I want to try to do my best to stay away from players that are currently in the league and in their prime so these are three really really good players but i'm gonna pass on them now i see yeah, you, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refrain from it. Let's see who else is here. Because last pick, I just I went with my heart and went with Kobe. Now let's try to be strategic and try to pick the player that, oh, Kobe and Powell back together will be dope. But I think we're going to have picks that are relatively close to each other. So if we go down here a little bit and we see a guy that we really like, um, we might be able to get him next round. For the most part, it ain't nobody like paired prime Dwight Howard with Kobe. Last time they played together, it didn't really work out. But this is a whole new world. I could change things. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make trades anyway. We, we're going we're gonna to make trades anyway. Okay, so we're back. All right. All right. It, it's either Powell or D Dwight. Powell is so much better in this game, too. And I mean, two overall increase. 46 badges versus 21 badges. Powell might be the move. Now, the reason Powell might be the move and the reason why Powell's badges is better than everybody else... Powell is no longer in NBA 2K20. I'm mean, NBA 2K. So whoever created this roster created Powell, which means that he probably got more of a boost. Who else is here? We got C-Web. We got Dennis Rodman. Shout out to the Worm. Um, Powell for a position looks kind of decent, but nothing really stands out other than Powell. I'm going to go with um, Powell Gasol. Next pick. The Worm is still on the board, bro. I don't think the Worm's abilities to do what he does is going to translate to 2K. I'm going to keep a track on it, but I don't think it translates. 6-7, power four, good defensive player, good rebounder. It was just so many other options. Like at the four, we got like Rasheed Wallace up to a 92. Okay, Rasheed, I see you. Jermaine O'Neal had a really solid prime. I ain't loving a lot of those power four picks. Sean Marion, on the other hand, the Matrix? The Matrix? Illinois' very own? 
um uh ron or ron sandiford or test it's like we getting like a bunch of kobe's old teammates together catch and shoot hall of fame i mean how can i look at this and not want this player on my team oh man what does sean marion get a b3 pointer but sean marion's defense was amazing but this guy right here won a defensive player of the year as a yep Yep, get in, I'm getting Kobe Bryant's old teammates all together. Yao is still on the board. I might pick Yao and use him as trade bait. I might I might pick Yao and use him as trade bait. Yep, I ain't even looked to see who else was there. Yao Ming, cool. Um, Powell can run some power forward too. He did it for a good chunk of his career. Who else do we got? At the power forward position, we got Bob Love, um, Bulls legend. Don't have any attachment to Bob Love though because he played so much before me as a Bulls fan in the 70s. Dog, my parents were just being born early 70s. So like... I don't have any attachment to Bob Love, but I know he is one of the greats. Um, whoa. Now, it is not very often in my life that I'm doing a NBA slash 2K video and I don't recognize a name. I don't know who this player is, and we're about to figure it out. Okay, Bob Neto. Neto is the nickname. From California, he went to Drake University, and he played in the late 60s, early 70s. He had a very early prime, but then fell off a little bit, maybe because injuries, whatever. I have never, ever, ever seen this name before in my entire life. In my entire life. And that does not happen often in the realm of the NBA. I'm not going to draft him. Um, but, hey, we learned some new player. I, uh, Neto. Bob Neto. Uh, so, we got Buck Williams. Okay. The power four position kind of me, bro. I feel like I'm going to have to make a big blockbuster trade to get a good power four because everybody else... Oh, Kmart? I might have to go pick up Kenyon Martin a little bit, but we ain't got to do it that early. Josh Smith is here. Is there a small four that can move over? Um, Paige Stoyakovich. I got to draft Paige Stoyakovich, ladies and gentlemen. This, when I tell you I'm drafting with like my heart and not really thinking logically about things, that is that is a big time... Um way to show you that what's the three-point rating what's the three-point rating what's the three-point rating 88 i don't know why i was expecting like 95 ish the shooting badges are nice but i don't know i was expecting more than that honestly one of the greatest passing bigs of all time maybe don't get the love in the badge situation but arvidas sabonis still never know if i'm pronouncing it right arvidas or Ar arvidas arvidas uh, that's what i'm going with we i don't think we have drafted a power forward just yet um we have not. <laughs> All right, let's go get a power four. Let's legit look at... So, we got Tom Gugliotta. Okay. We have Julius Randle, Vin Baker, Danny Manning. Yikes. We are in a realm of good... Okay, let's go Kenya Martin. Forget it. I said I was going to do it, and we got it. We got Kenya Martin. Let's go get Kevin Martin, too. Let's get K-Martin, K-Martin. Let's get them both. And I just saw Joe Kim Noah get drafted. That was unfortunate, because I was hoping he was going to be there for another round. Was that LaMelo ball? I saw a ball. Yep, LaMelo. Ooh. I got to put y'all on game. The last three rounds. So after this pick, I'm going to put y'all on game if y'all making, you know, having fun and doing this with me, right? I'm going to put y'all on some game. Y'all be like, man, Kenny didn't cheat at the system. And and for the most part, I would say that, yeah, you mostly right, but not completely. Do I take BJ Armstrong here, man? One of the one of the best shooters in Bulls history. What is his overall three-point rating? 93. I'll take him. I'll take BJ Armstrong. Both of my point guards are former Bulls. You'd love to see that. Um, should I take Reggie Theus? Another form of bull? Um, no, I think I have enough point guards. Oh, no, I told you I'm putting you on game. Okay. Draft young players. So, Josh Giddy is there. Who else is here that's young? They just got Anthony Edwards and Kate Cunningham are still on the board. I'm drafting both of them. And because their trade value is not going to change. You know what I'm saying? So, when I'm trying to pull off that huge blockbuster trade, Anthony Edwards and, and Kate Cunningham should still have elite and i mean elite level um oh evan mobley too elite level potential which means elite level trade value <laughs> but hey you gotta play the system ladies and gentlemen you gotta play the system because uh if you don't play the system the system is gonna play you there's garland all right so that's the last guy we select we got a lot of work to do um to make this team a championship team because you have to consider not only did we have an opportunity to draft the greatest players of all time so did everybody else i'm gonna just quickly go through every team to see who got the best big two um, okay. Or, well, I guess every team has more than a big two. Let's, let's go big threes. Hakeem, Elijah, Juan, Melo, and, and, and Kyrie with Clay is kind of crazy. This is us. Hey, I think our big three is kind of fire. I'm just saying. Maybe that's the bias coming in, but I think we nice. Bob Cousy, David Robinson, and Brandon, Ro Brandon Roy. Yeah, let's go. Dwayne Wade is so true to Miami. He, if you didn't know, 
he spent his entire career in Miami. Entire career. He did retire from um, 2016 to the end of 2017, 2018. But he spent his entire career in Miami. We these years don't don't ex, they don't ex, he spent his entire career in Miami. And he's back with Charles Barkley with Tony Parker. Oh, this team kind of nice though. That team is nice. All right, all right. Michael Jordan is playing for the team that he owns. That's crazy luck. Him and his te old teammate James Worthy, college teammate James Worthy, and Bill Walton. Oh my God, they kind of nice. They even got. They have Ben Simmons. That's cool. Steph Curry, Pistol Pete, and Grant Hill. Okay. Giannis and Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd used to coach Giannis, and now they're teammates. And Bob, um, and Bob Lanier. Shaq, Dominique Wilkins, and Russell Westbrook. Spacing and Dennis Rodman. Spacing in New York is non-existent. Spacing in New York is non-existent. That's hilarious. But on paper, that's that's fire. What are the chances of this too? Larry Bird playing again, playing for the Lakers with Dave Cohen and then um and then C-Web. So these are like, you know, oh I I for my entire life I thought that Dave Cohen was a Laker. I mean not a Laker, but a Celtic lifer. I did not know that he came back from retirement then played for the Bucks for a year. Dirk and Steve Nash are back together with Mel Daniels. Okay, okay. Kareem, Luca still in 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 Dallas. Paul Pierce, okay, and Book, and Zion. Hey, that's a that's a nice starting lineup in my opinion. Nice, the bench, eh, could be better defensively. The bench is about to be is about to be nice, but like it could be better. Sam Cassell has thirty five badges. Okay, Et go crazy. A lot of them are playmaking. Cool. Um, the Nets have Bill Russell, Isaiah Thomas. I ain't know if it was Isaiah Thomas or Isaiah Thomas, but it ended up being Isaiah Thomas, so that's good. Um, and then Chris Mullen, Walt Frazier, James Harden, and Dwight Howard. Dwight and James Harden back together. Okay. Magic and Kawhi and Jokic. Kawhi back in Indiana. You know what I'm saying? The trade never happened. The trade never happened. He's just here. Oh, and look who else is back in Indiana. Jermaine O'Neal. Wow. That team is scary as well. That team is really scary. Playmaking out of this world. KD, T-Mac, No Chill Gill on the same team. Talk about a fun team to watch. They got Cat and Kevin Love, so they're not, they not going to be really defending a ton of ton, but a fun team to watch. That's what we got here. Michael Finley, Stephon Marbury is here. We got the rule of verticality legend known as Roy Hibbert. That's a W. LeBron is in Detroit with Patrick Ewan and Joe Dumars, who's back. Rasheed Wallace is back. Rip Hamilton is back. Oh, that's funny. All of these players ended up back in Detroit. Vince Carter, Ray Allen, Mark Price. Eh, that's, that's, that's solid, I guess. Tim Duncan, Gary Payton, Anthony Davis. Ooh, defensively, that team is disgusting. They are disgusting. Maybe uh, Robert Sarver would uh, max out DeAndre Aiden in this world. We shall see. Um, okay, see, so you have Moses Malone, Elvin Hayes, and, and Tiny Archibald, Chris Paul, Rick Berry, and Joel B. Yes, I did not show every single team because some teams' big three was not bad, not great. Okay, so let me show y'all this method. Oh, we'll let 2K tell us how to make trades first. Look at the values. Look at look at look at the values. Look at the values, y'all. Come on, man. I be doing this. I actually do this. These players are almost as valuable as our 92 overall Yao Ming. That's so great. Even, and guess what? Derrick Rose is only 22. <laughs> MVP, baby. All right, so what do we do? Um, first of all, we got to make sure we're in the world of no untouchables. Because if, if there's, yeah, they got people that's untouchable. Not in this world. Ain't no way I brought all these legends to the NBA right now for them to be like, nah, we're not trading them. Yes, you are. LaMelo was the one that was untouchable. All of these legends in the game. And LaMelo was the one. they like, nah, we're not trading him away. Jalen Green, they're like, nah, we're not trading him away. That team has some of the greatest players of all time. And they're like, y'all know that 19-year-old kid with the good head of hair? We can, we'll trade you MJ, but we will not trade you the nice hair kid from... No, 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 there's no way. All right, so that's everybody. I want to play this and build my ultimate team. You know? Not really think about fit or anything like that. Build my ultimate team. So let me go to our small four positions kind of lackluster. We got Ron Artest. Good. I don't want to start Ron Artest on my championship team with all these legends. I want to keep, I, I would like to keep them, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So let's go to all small forwards and find out which one of these players we want. Small forwards, look, he kind of. So we got Kobe. We got, we got, okay, okay, okay. Let me figure this out. With the, with the assets that I have right now, can I get Larry Bird? Is there a shooting guard that I can move over? I mean, technically Kobe can move over. 
if I want. Oh, T Mac is 6'8. I'm adding T Mac to the list too. Um, they got T Mac as a shooting guard point guard though. I kind of dig that. But I'm, let me see, like, is it possible to even make the Larry Bird trade? Can we end up with Larry Bird? Not necessarily. What if I did a reverse trade finder? It's hard to do these type of things because I don't really know trade values at the moment. Obviously, Larry Bird's trade value is going to be high because he's basically tied for the best player in the game. They want Kobe. They want Kobe. Not happening. They asked for Powell. They asked for D. Rose and Ar Ar Arvidas Sabonis. I, I would not be against giving them Powell, but I would rather give you Yao. Is that better? What if I give you Yao and Cade Cunningham? You don't know this, but Cade Cunningham might be leading the league in a lot of stuff in a few years. What did that say? I'm not a fan of what? I'm not a fan of this proposed because it weakens our starting shooting guard. Oh, then instead of Cade, we'll give you um we'll give you Ant-Man. See, we got a, we got a recipe for that Ant-Man. Boom. They want a second. They give us Hassan. Yao Ming, Anthony Edwards, one first round pick for Tracy McGrady and Hassan Whiteside. T Mac, welcome to the team, my boy. You're going to run small forward. I know you say they telling me that you can't do it, but I know you can. Are we gonna play a ton of defense on this team? Nah. Are we gonna be fun and score a bunch of points? Yes. I like Yao a lot. But if we can use Yao and Kay Cunningham to upgrade to like bring Shaq and Kobe back together or Wilt or matter of fact, not Co not Shaq and Kobe. We saw them win before. Let's try to do We in a fantasy world. Why are we trying to pair things up that was real? So let's look at like Wilt Chamberlain or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Like, those are two options. They're 99. They're the best players in the entire league. I'm also adding Tim Duncan to the list because I like Tim Duncan. Y'all y'all know that though. Y'all know that though. Um, all these players maxed out value, as you can imagine. Oh, you know what I can do? There's gonna be other young players in free agency. Like, watch this. Josh Primo, Josh Giddy. Which one of these young players is gonna have the most value? Um, Jalen Suggs, like the fifth overall pick this year or something. So we'll take that. Come on, Kareem. You wanna come on and play with Kobe? You wanna play with Kobe? Come on, there it is. Nope. Okay. I'm about to do something that is extremely risky and I do not recommend because it could blow up in my face. I'm going to trade Kobe for Tim Duncan, but I'm about to go back and trade for Kobe. I feel like it would be easier to trade for Kobe than it would be to trade for Tim Duncan. Why do you ask? L lower overall, technically, technically. Okay, so I'm going to do a trade finder thing. They're going to ask for Tim Duncan more than likely. Yeah, they will. We about to, we going to get Kobe Bryant back on the team. I promise y'all that. If we don't, then we end the video. They want Tim Duncan again. We don't do that. We end the video if we can't do it. And I'll chalk this up as an L. And I will never, ever, ever do something like this again. But until then, we're going to make this work. Y'all know when it comes to these traits, I'm super stubborn. And I won't go home until we got the players that we want. So the player that we want is to get Kobe back on the team. Two really good first round picks from the Houston Rockets is coming to our team for Jalen Suggs. And I think that's what I'm about to do for a lot of these young players. So I might not show you every trade that we end up doing, but I'm going to do this. Sign Jonathan Kaminga, sign these type of dudes, throw them into the trade finder, get good value for them, and then throw them in the in the trade to get us um, get us K, um, KB back. Has anybody ever called Kobe KB? I don't think so. But we, we just did it. We, we just did it. All right, so I've made a bunch of trades, traded up, and ended up with Bill Walton. Bill Walton and Pau Gasol are both 95 overall players. That's still not enough to get Kobe. I still have Kay Cunningham as well. Come on, Kobe. Come on home. Come on back. Uh, hopefully, you ain't bad no house out there. Because I think I, I whispered to him, you'll be back, bro. Don't need to worry about it. And um, I don't... Oh. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go get a third 95 overall to get Kobe back on the team. Yeah, I've been here for way too long. Because um, <laughs> I, I can't... I can't do this video and not have Kobe back. I drafted Kobe. Um, but we also got another 95 overall, and that's David Thompson. Give us back the Grant brother, and we're good. It only took us three 95 overalls to put, to put together the team that we want. We have Tim Duncan, Kobe, Tracy, Derrick Rose. The rest of the team, don't worry about it. We're going to level it up. Don't even worry about it. The rest of the team is kind of buns. But I'm going to do my same old method, which is go into free agency. Eventually, we ain't going to have no young players. Like, okay, let's bring in Jonathan Kaminga for $25 million because in this world, money is just an object. There's no thing. We're throwing it out windows. You know what I'm saying? We don't really care about it in this world. Um, Tyrese Maxey, sure. Anybody that can potentially bring us good value, you're on the team now. There's got to be a sin in the trade finder. I feel like I should use trade finder for the rest. I got my players that I wanted, T-Mac and, and there's Bob Pettit. Um, T-Mac and Tim Duncan are the players I really, really wanted. And we got two of those. David Robinson, the Admiral. Woo! 
hey, we're going to come back to trade number three, but I feel like we might get better. Come on, I got to get the Admiral. And I know him and Tim Duncan play together in real life, but at this point, I don't really care about that rule anymore. I'm building the best team. Imagine trying to do an 82 and no talents when every single team has six or four 90 overall players, because that's the world we're living in right now. So now we're working on our bench. Our starter lineup is set with Derrick Rose, Kobe, T-Mac, Tim Duncan, and the Admiral. I want a supreme microwave type player to come off my bench. Who is that going to be? It's up to the Trey Finder, really, because the amount of time it took me to get Kobe back was ridiculous. Okay, this is not the play I wanted um, or the archetype I wanted, but I am bringing Amari Stoudemire right back to the team. I really like Amari Stoudemire, man. Interviewed him. He was a great dude. He followed me on Instagram. Then he DM'd me, said, hey, my son is a fan. Um, so if you're Amari Stoudemire's son, hit me up, bro. Let's... Let's chat it up. You know what I'm saying? We're on our test stone team. I wouldn't mind having him come off our bench to just be that stopper. Don't expect nothing from him but to play elite level defense and be a menace. Um, but we still, I think we still need that spark plug guard. I'm thinking about a guard that's going to come in and just, just get buckets for us. And and the more I look at Trey Finder, the more I realize that I'm probably going to have to build my own one. That, that's fine. That's fine. I do want to win the championship. I couldn't imagine spending all this time on this video, trading for Kobe again, to not win. So let's go ahead and get that, that guy. Who is it? It's a dude that can come in and get us. I mean, there's a lot of candidates here, but who's the one I want? Okay, so I added three players to the list. I brought in Darren, uh, Baron Davis. Baron Davis, some of y'all might not remember. Baron Davis is an absolute bucket in the prime of his career, as you know. Um, we brought in Mitch Richmond, the absolute idea of like somebody that can come in and just score a bunch. Mitch Richmond. And then Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy is my priority number one. Um, I wish that his season or his career wasn't derailed by injuries. He was definitely one of my most fun players to watch when he was doing his thing. I don't need LaMarcus Aldrich. They don't want to do that trade, but LaMarcus is like, he has more, more value. So we'll just throw them um, Tyrese Maxey too. Boom. There's our microwave. Right now, I'm loving the team, bro. Amari, Ron, and, and Brandon Roy are the big three off the bench. I want to get a point guard that's a facilitator off the bench now. Because Amari Stoudemire, what do I want Amari Stoudemire to do? Catch... 37 lobs a game so who is the best according to the everybody has a plus playmaking by the way so we could probably go kind of cheap on this backup point guard if we just want them to play make um like rajon rondo he's a 90 i think we can trade for a 90 in this world and he if you want to talk about playmaking um yeah what i respect the more hall of fame bads keeping it in a buck but talk about playmaking yeah he, his name is in conversations is one of the greatest bulls have him. 90 overall oh yeah this is about to be sweet we'll give you bj armstrong send him back they want kevin martin sure that's fine kevin martin didn't really have a place to play now that we got kobe t mac and we brought in brandon roy so lastly we need a center that i can trust to what do i want the center to do do i want him to be a shooter or do i want him to be a rim protector some players can come back under the right situation i think this might be the right situation for arvita sabonis there we go and we get bruce bowen back Oh, we're going to have some menaces. Bruce Bowen would not get no PT, but if we need somebody to kick somebody in the face, call Bruce Bowen. Oh, but we also already got Ron Artest, too. Put them on the court together. Technical foul or technical foul. What, how do y'all think we did? D. Rose, Kobe, T-Mac, Tim Duncan, and David Robinson. That's that's kind of wild, right? Then we got Brandon Roy, Mari Stoudemire, Rajon Rondo, Ron Artest, and Arvita Sabonis. First game of the year is a win. Um, you're not going to see, I don't think you're going to see many people average like 25, 30. Because you guys remember, every single team has elite level players. Like, players that's going to take shots. These are the greatest 300, how many, okay, so it's 15 players per roster, 30 rosters. Math, I don't know how mathematics works, but um, there's a ton of really good players is what I'm saying. And they have to share the ball. Like the Admiral, it's one of the greatest centers of all time. And right now, he's only averaging, oh, he's averaging about 17. That's really good. I mean, maybe not the 30 that he averaged in 93, but that's pretty solid. Ron Artest, five points per, solid. Wait, Derrick Rose, come on, bro. 14, okay, we'll take, okay. So I'm going to simulate. I think we're a championship team. Kevin Garnett in a Bulls jersey does not look right whatsoever. But 21 points, 11 rebounds, six and a half assists, two blocks and a steal and a half wins him MVP. I'm very curious to see who's going to win defense player of the year because there's so many, so many elite level defenders here um in this in this video ron artest is the rookie of the year which basically means that whoever created this created him and he was the one that got the most pt out of everybody pal who he traded away for tim duncan ended up winning six man of the year sorry pal you couldn't be here to do those things but playmaking amazing rebounding good scoring good 
Um, Bill Russell is the yeah. I should have Bill Russell. I've done. I did a video where we put like the top ten players of all time into into like two K together, and Bill Russell won Defensive Player of the Year a bunch in that video. We went sixty and twenty two. You know, just beating up on the greatest players of all time. Magic, Penny, KG, LeBron, and Shaquille O'Neal. Penny Hardaway. Look at that. 18 and a half and 12. That's amazing. Second team, we have Big O, Luka. Luka, the youngster. Okay. Carl Malone. Um, Charles Barkley, who's in the game now. And then Will. How did he not win rookie of... Oh, it says he's five years pro. Never mind. And then Will Chamberlain on second team. Russell Westbrook. Look at that. Looking solid. Isaiah Thomas, Dirk, 25. Oh, my God. Dirk is balling on them, bro. George Mike and defensive team. MJ, GP, Scotty, Barkley? But why does Barkley have 60 bad? Why does Barkley have more badges than Michael Jordan? Shout out to Barkley, but I listen, he was a little bit before my time. But I don't know if he was this elite of a defender. Was he? Am I, was I sleep on Charles Barkley's defense? I don't know. Second defensive team has Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, LeBron, KG, and Dwight Howard. And yeah, there's no rookie teams because, yes, okay. So we were the the one seed and we dominated. Um, let's see who led the league in scoring. It might have been Dirk, man. He averaged like 25. Yeah, it was Dirk at 25, Shaq at 25, LeBron at 24. Rebounds, Moses Malone, Bill Russell, Shaq, Elvin Haynes. Assists, hey, John Stockton got a ton of assists in his career. It doesn't even make sense to me how many assists he got. I mean, he got Penny. CP3, Magic, Isaiah Thomas, Steals, Jerry West. Okay, Mr. Logo. Um, Allen Iverson always got a ton of seals. Didn't even realize he was in Philadelphia. That is amazing. Chris Paul, Blocks, you got Willis Reed at 6'9", Will Chamberlain. Turnovers, don't talk about that. Chris Paul ain't turning that ball over, boy. Three-point percentage, Tony Parker, Brandon Roy. Yes, sir. So we get somebody in the top three of something. Dallas, this is Luka's team. Luka, D-Book, Zion. They got three current young players on their team. Then you got Paul Pierce and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 8 seed? That's kind of crazy. But when you're stacked up against us, I mean, it's hard not to be the 8 seed. You know what I'm saying? Sweep them. Going against the Phoenix Suns, who we made a big-time trade with. Um, Where's everybody we... Oh! We gave them Pal, Bill Walton, and David Thompson. So we gave them two centers when they already had Anthony Davis. So... You know, the starting lineup still looks elite, but if we would have we would have gave them a well-rounded package, um, then this would have been more of a series than it being a five-gamer. And we're going against a six-seed OKC Thunder. The good thing about this, I legit think that any team you're going to run because every team has so many great players. Moses Malone and Tiny Archibald of the team, or the, the stars of the team. They got Jerry Stackhouse, who once upon a time led the league in scoring, if you didn't know. Um, and people weren't happy about that. You know what I'm saying? 1-1. One, one. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna play around with this. We spent too much time tonight winning this championship. Short and rotation for me. Yeah, I need Kobe. I need all of them players to play every minute. Wow. Um, is this really? This is what I mean though. Any team could go on a huge run and end up in the finals. This is a lower seed. They're like the six or seven seed. And they are like, okay, we get out of this one. We live to fight another day, but they are hooping. Tiny Archibald, unguardable? D Rose, what's up? Yeah, Tiny Archibald is hooping. Yeah, it's a J.R. Smith. <laughs> he created J.R. Smith. Put him in the game. He's an 87. He's coming off the bench. And what did he do? Was a microwave. They got Jay LaRose, Porzingis, Colin Sexton, and DMPs. Wow. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You, you, what? Isn't our team significantly better? We're losing that series? Jerry Stackhouse? Adrian Dantley, Earl the Pearl Monroe. Who let us down in the playoffs? Whose numbers were down? Okay. Tim Duncan. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, oh, I'm seeing some players underperform in the playoffs. That's ridiculous. I thought we put together a ridiculous team. Um, So we have a five slash six seed matchup. Game one, so we got Bob Pettit, Billy Cunningham, um, Dame, Wes Unsell, Danny Granger, Jack Sekma. That's that Bucks team. 
gotta say Jack Sigma's name Sigma's name like that. And they end up winning. And Billy Cunningham, out of all people, wins a finals MVP. He said mid range maestro as his archetype. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. This was a blast. It always is to have these legends. But let me know in the comment section if you want to see me take these legends. And instead of doing one year, we just do like an entire career to see who does what, who teams up, and do all of those things. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.